Hello, I'm Fantani Descargos. Today I want to talk with you about uh, Blender and its new support for virtual reality. The newest app for Blender 2.83 adds virtual reality support for um, Oculus Rift and Windows Mixed Reality. Um, not for SteamVR headsets yet, but it will come in the future because it needs OpenXR implementation that Oculus has already added. Um, it is still an alpha. It is still very rough, it just lets you see your models in VR, but it's already mind-blowing. It is something that uh, surprised me, uh, because while you just throw your stuff in Blender, you model everything, you can have a peek in VR what you're designing, and not modifying it yet, just seeing it, but the roadmap is also adding possibility to modify everything, and that's incredibly powerful for people doing 3D modeling. I know that all of them are very hyped about it. I tried the implementation, I show you how to do that. And after that, uh, I will also get my comments about this implementation. So follow me to discover how to use Blender with virtual reality. So the first thing that you have to do is actually to download Blender 2.83 alpha because the official version at the time, this time is still 2.82 that doesn't support VR, so you have to go to this page builder.blender.org slash download to find also the link here below and download this alpha version and um, after you have downloaded it, it will download like a zip package that you have in your download folder and you have to uh, unzip it to open it so it's not an installer, it's just a portable version uh, after you're here, you can look at instructions of these new features of this version of Blender here, and there is virtual reality. So the scene inspection for now, just looking at things. So no modifying it, and it's plain that since you need OpenXR, it is compatible only with Windows Mixed Reality and Oculus. Uh, also there is support for Linux, but not very usable. And here there is a list of the features that it has. You can find it on this page, I will put a link as well. And here there is how to do the setup. And now we'll show you all the setup process that actually is very, very simple. And so basically you have to start a Blender with a script and then you have just to activate the VR session inside the editor. So don't worry, we have all this link here below, but I will show you the process live, how to do that. So open your Blender installation and launch a script the Blender underscore Oculus dot CMD. Of course, if you have WMR, you have to launch the relative script. This will launch a version of Blender where it set up some flags to um, let you connect with Oculus Rift or uh, Oculus Quest totally. So now you have to activate VR view. So let's go to edit, preferences, and now we have to activate the, the add-ons. So let's search for VR and click on the checkbox next to 3D view VR scene inspection. This will activate the scripting, the behavior, the add-on, the let blender, let see your scene in virtual reality. So now with just this flag we are set up, completed, it was super easy. And now we can use our Oculus Rift with um, Blender. But let's load a more interesting scene than this simple queue. I downloaded one of the sample scenes of Blender, this very cool cartoon world. So how to launch VR? Click on the right side there where there is that plus to open the right toolbar. Then click on the VR tab and you will see the VR session dialog. So now you can select some flags, select, uh, for instance I select to mirror the scene to let you show what I'm seeing, then start your session and bam. I'm in VR. I can see the world around me just as it were as if I were there. So but how to be inside that? So let's create a custom camera to use with VR. We can let Blender let us see the world on a camera that we choose. So add camera and then let's position this camera where we want to have the point of view inside this model so we can inspect it from there in VR. So let me move it a bit, I want to be there next to this, you know, this vending machine. And uh, it seems a cool position. And then after I set it up, I just select from that camera menu what is the camera that I want to 
choose to see in VR. In this case, this camera log 001 is the camera that I just added. So I start server session, and again, I see I'm close to the vending machine. It was very easy. Um, so what is my feedback? It's, it's incredible because I'm inside that model and this model is very well made. All in VR, I can inspect everything from very close. I can move. It's a pity that I don't have the controllers. I can't even see them, but I can inspect all the world as I want. So I'm inside this world in Blender and it's incredibly handy if you have to uh, design something in 3D, especially if you're designing something for a VR game. So you can see it in the air. And now I'm also get back to my PC just to move the camera again and see the world from the upside. Um, how is the experience? Well, um, honestly speaking, it's very cool, it's very good. If I have to find one problem, uh, apart from the fact that I can't have the controllers but this will be fixed as soon, is that it was a bit choppy. Maybe because this model is a bit complex but I, it was not very fluid, my experience inside that. Not that I was having nausea, but it was a bit of a problem, in my opinion. So maybe there was a bit of stuttering, but uh, I could see the model quite well. So my experience in the end was very good. I was incredibly satisfied with this Blender view in VR. Hope this video has been cool for you. So subscribe to my channel and see you in VR. Bye bye.